or you can count eight of every other mark. Okay, eight eighths is an inch, sixteen sixteenths is an inch. So we'll go every other mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and drill a hole. Again, don't push too hard. Not that you've got chips coming out of the hole. Now, at some point, we're going to intersect one of the two holes we just drilled for the cable, the, the .221 diameter hole. Don't stop there. You're not done. You need to go until you get to the depth stop. The hole needs to go past the other hole. Starting to break through, so I'm going to ease it past the other hole, go gently, and then all the way to the depth stop. I'll dump the aluminum into the aluminum barrel, which is this purple one. Aluminum's worth a lot more than steel at the scrapyard. Okay, don't take the drum out. Remove the drill from the chuck. Put it back in the stored spot. Now, if I try to start this tap in that hole by hand, I'll never get it exactly parallel to the axis of the hole. So what you can do is put the tap in the drill chuck. Do not turn on the drill press. If you do, if you turn this on, we'll just demonstrate. If I turn that on and start that tap in that hole, it'll get to the bottom of that hole so fast, there's no way I'll ever stop it in time, and it'll break the tap off in the hole, and the drum will be scrap. So we don't want to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to bring this down into the hole, okay, and... Take some tapping oil, this little tap magic, put a couple drops of that on the, on the tap, just a little bit, and then start the tap into the hole. Go in a couple of turns, back it up a little bit, go in a couple turns, back it up a little, that breaks the chip off. Get in there three or four turns, five, six turns, fine, okay. Then you can undo the drill chuck from the tap and put the tap wrench on. Now the tap started nice and straight in the hole and we can finish the rest by hand. So again, it should be fairly easy to turn. If all of a sudden you feel it get hard to turn, you may have a chip binding up in the tap or in that cross hole. Okay. Now I'm about halfway. When you get about halfway, you'll notice if you look in the cable hole, there's a pile of chips in there. I don't know if you can see in the video, but blow those out. Okay. Okay, I'll put another couple of drops of tapping oil on the tap and keep going. Couple turns, back it up, turn or so, back it up, until you feel it. When it gets to the bottom of the hole, it gets tight all of a sudden, okay? Don't turn too hard or you'll break the tap off. Now, before you retract it, there will be chips in the hole again. So blow those out before you retract the tap. And just try to keep the tap straight when it gets to the top. If you let it fall sideways, you'll put little burrs and tear up the top threads right at the mouth of the hole. So just as you get to the top, 
try to just keep the tap nice and straight so it doesn't go sideways and burr up the threads at the mouth of the hole. Okay, there will be pretty good sized burr around the mouth of the hole. We want to get rid of that. Also, if you look at a nut, and this is easy to see on a big one, there's a great big chamfer at the mouth of the hole. That makes it easier to start the bolt in the hole. So what we'll do is we'll come over here to the counter sink, and the drawing, the, the directions for this actually tell you to do a 5 16 diameter counter sink. The outside diameter of the hole is a quarter inch, 0.25. So 5 16 counter sink is pretty good size. So what you want to do is don't worry about the fact that the hole is an angle. Just pretend it's normal to the surface. Come up here and push hard for a couple seconds. Nice size counter sink. Okay, bigger than a typical edge break. Okay. Now we'll go over and we'll do the deburr the teeth and stamp the lab number. Okay, but before we do the finish of the drum, we'll put the jig back together, clean it. And then we'll put the tap and the tap wrench back in the drill jig. Put away the oil. and return the drill jig to its 